Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of GoBot's Puzzlers. Actually, these are the six cars that form the, Go, uh, the GoBot Renegade Puzzler. And I'm just going to show you three at a time. So we're going to get the least interesting ones. I got the sports car motif. I'm not saying that they're in, not interesting, but I like the sports cars. I just want to show you one. We're going to do them one by one. Uh, this is Crossword pocket and tic tac and they're awful awful names uh they were tonka was very uncreative when it came to naming these gobots so let's uh roll these out first thing crossword yeah bad pun what can i say it rolls but it's kind of floppy and it's a big nice bright orange porsche 930 looks really well uh paint apps are good good molding on this back uh, it, uh one of the things i like about gobots is that their alt mode was fantastic even if the robot mode suffered uh, a lot of times the hasbro toys are different but bandai and to uh, tonka not so much it's like the reverse they're looking good good molding die cast you can kind of tell uh it hides the details well it's a little floppy but it's old about 28 29 years old so you can see the stamp over here if you can and bandai 1984 so okay it is what it is honda sorry not honda porsche i like those stripes it, it's good i'm not gonna rate every one of them maybe later maybe at the end i'll rate them and all i have to do to transform pop it out pop off the arms roll the head up and that's another tonka gobot staple and split the legs and no heel spurs nothing like that it stands up rather well so hey pretty good oh uh, that's one dude i'm gonna set that to the side get to him later next up lamborghini glamorghini countach sunstreaker i mean what's the guy's name tic tac and yeah these are awful names i'm not gonna lie to you did i say it was tic tac no it's pocket and um yeah the um yellow black let's face it that is sunstreaker i mean pretty much that is no coincidence Came out about the same time, Bandai, 1984, die cast, not as flimsy as the other dudes, it rolls really well. And one thing I forgot to mention is it does have these nice rubber wheels that I love. That was a trademark back in the day. Uh, there's a detail in, I love the headlights, the black, and it hides the lines really well. Very nice alt mode. Transformation, exactly the same. Pull it out, pop up the hands, flip over the head, and I like, geez, man. This guy better be called Sunstreaker. They, they took like, and this one's legs did not pop open as well. All right, so there you go. Set them over. Whoops. Hey, he, he does have articulation. What, I forgot to mention about the articulation. Here's crosswords articulation. Head, the same. Shoulder, 360. Waist articulation, not needed, and nothing on the knees. Same thing with this dude, so the head moves up and down. Shoulder, so, and waist articulation, and that's not for transformation. And nothing on the legs, because they just split apart. Okay, next one up. This is Tic Tac. Chevy Corvette, he's from 84. Uh, they don't have the nice little headlights like the other one they're not they're molded in you can tell the corvette symbol right there so yeah got that detail pretty well uh the alt modes of these are pretty spectacular you can pretty much tell what they are they have these little clips in the bottoms here uh, uh, what do you call that the mufflers the rear tail lights is good one thing i forgot to mention oh yeah they had that for the countach but my second piece is missing <laughs> so this one has a nice little rear details black red reminds me of that red dude with that wind charger i forget okay easy enough it looks good from the bottom transformation is easy you know flip this out flip that out that's just like wind charger are these stealing these guys things all right for transformation for this guy is a little odd because you have to in order to make his hands move out yeah he has awful awful hands and i know they have to make sacrifices in order to make this happen pop that out and yeah, I mean, because of his weird looking hands and he barely does stand up, that is Wind Charger. Oh, by the way, these are like scout size, so if you can kind of tell. Articulation is more on the shoulder, does roll tape, and they have this weird looking, if you can call it a hand, I mean. <laughs> and a lot of the times these little small, these little small size, scout class size, or back in the G1 era, you, you got what you 
you didn't expect much and you really didn't get much. That's a hand that looks more like a hand than this little T-Rex looking thing here. But the molding's good. Head doesn't move and neither does the uh, waist. All you get is this look, nice knee bend, if you can call it that. So, eh, yeah. I mean, these things aren't horrible. Maybe I'll make a comparison on the six of them, which one I like the best. Uh, so far of the three, I'm leaning towards crossword, the uh, Porsche. So, there we go. I mean, they're not bad. I love the colors. They're very... This dude right here, the red dude, <laughs> not so much. Tic Tac. Poc so that's pocket, crossword, Tic Tac. Just to show you a size comparison. There they are with, they are scout size. So here they are with good old G.I. Joe. And I'll just put Megatron in the background so you can see. There we go. So you can kind of tell. All right. And they are scout size. I mean, they're smaller than a deluxe. They look good. What can I say? I'm not going to read them, but if I have to pick my favorite, that's the boy right there. Crossword. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got. This is a three-part series, so catch part two and three later.